right, welcome back in everyone. Look at this beautiful sunrise over the Helena Valley. This is the Big Belt Mountains looking out east. Absolutely beautiful. I hate that I'm stuck inside right now. I'd much rather be out there enjoying that sunrise. It is a little crisp though. 23 degrees. Feels like 23 degrees. We don't have any wind out here in the valley. Can't say the same for Great Falls, however. 31 feels like 21. We have a little bit of a wind there. Southwest wind, 14 miles an hour. Right now, things across the state, we are in the 20s and 30s for most of our viewing area here for your morning lows. We will quickly reach into above freezing temperatures. Right after noontime, we'll be in the 50s with a high of about 57 in Helena today. Wind speed, like I said, 14 miles an hour southwest out of Great Falls right now, right along the Rocky Mountain Front Continental Divide. We're getting that down sloping wind and we will warm up because of that wind. And that will persist on into the morning. Now notice we do have a little bit of a northerly component to the wind. We have a weak front that moves through here. Not going to generate any precipitation. We have that influence of the high pressure, so no lift, no moisture. But it will bring a wind shift and we could see a little bit of a northern wind gust here in Lewistown, Roundup, Haver as well. We should stay mostly out of the west in western portions of the state. Great Falls, you're right on that boundary there. That north wind will die down going into tonight. We will have the wind along the Rocky Mountain front still persisting on into the night and getting stronger tomorrow. Radar is pretty clear right now. It's clear in the Pacific Northwest. However, not the same story for the rest of the United States. Could have some severe weather down in the Southern Plains and Ohio River Valley. Today, not going to have any severe weather here. Uh, we're not really going to have any weather at all in Montana. Just some scattered cloud cover throughout the state. Maybe a shower or two popping up near Billings and Livingston, but those will quickly move on out of here and most of the state will be clear going on into tonight. We'll have some cloud cover building in and eastern portions of the state tomorrow morning, but we will stay clear uh, for central and western portions. For today, like I said, influence of the high pressure, we have the west wind, we will get warmer than we were this weekend. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s throughout most of the state with clear skies. Same story tomorrow, but warmer. Some locations like Helena, Great Falls, you could reach into the 70s tomorrow and we'll only get warmer on Wednesday before our cold front moves through. We could see temperatures in the 70s once again. Could have some thunderstorms fire along this line here going into tomorrow night. Should make for some photogenic storms like we had on Friday. Thursday, our low pressure kind of hangs around a little bit. It'll generate some weather out behind the front, we could see some scattered showers with that as well. So we will warm going into the beginning of next week up into the 70s. Our front moves through Wednesday. We'll have some unsettled weather for the rest of the week and the weekend. Our temperatures will drop below average as well going into the weekend. 